The highway that runs past Walmart is very busy with 18 wheelers, even today on a Saturday. We good? Yeah, just checking on you guys. But no, it's just me. Just you? Yeah. Okay. Is, All right, I'm is, Officer Weston with the Arkadelphia Police Department. I'm just okay. checking on you, man. Yeah, just sitting here. I mean, All right, you, you can you see homeless? Are you just staying here tonight? Or? Well, no, I, I can't stay here tonight, right? There's a no. curfew. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a city parking lot. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be taking off, but I mean... Okay, I'm man. Just, I'm just checking on you. Okay. Everything's good? Hey, right, yeah. you know where Walmart is? Well, yeah, yeah, I know everything. I know where places are. Man, that, I parking, gotta... that parking lot across from Walmart. Yeah. Man, if you park in there for the night, they probably leave you alone. Okay. Parking buddy? a lot across from yeah, Walmart. Yeah, you know where the. Because um... what Walmart does uh, has some kind of regulation. No, no, man. You just you know it's busy, okay. bright over there. Across, okay. Across the street from Walmart, there's a like a Chinese restaurant and a T-Mobile. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I mean, I can figure it out. Okay, I mean, man. I just. Hey, I... what's your what's your name? What. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm the owner of the car. You said your name is Weston? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it's Travis. Okay, Travis. You, are you, you stay in the area pretty often, or? In, uh, well, I mean. In Arkadelphia? I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm traveling, but I mean, I'm going to, I'll probably be here a couple of days, I think. All right, man. Well, but not, not here overnight. Sure, I, I, I'm sure. sure that, yeah, city part, city has probably a curfew. But I, you know, I didn't, I wasn't clear on what the curfew was because there's nothing posted. Okay, Travis. So. Have a good night, buddy, okay? Okay, yep, you too. <clears throat> All right, I just want to make note that I did put one of these flowers in my mouth and then I chewed on it. There's a slight bit of sweetness. It seems like it might be familiar, but... I can't remember the name, like, probably not, but there's this flower that's sweet that Walmart was selling, I looked it up and the picture is like similar to this, but I forget the name. Alright, I can't quite see it so well, there it is. This lizard just stopped moving when it saw me. Let's see if I can get a little closer, oh he runs off, <laughs> moves fast through the grass. Right, just outside of the college. I don't think this works. Yeah, I don't. Oh, it does. Okay, well, get some water there. Um, there's this food, like a food bank. What I find interesting, why did they put a spring? Why is there a spring on here? Is that supposed to help with something? But this food is good. This is not expired, so I'll take the quick oats. Look, oh, well, I got enough crushed red pepper. That's an option too. They put some good stuff here. I think it's to target the college kids. So they had a choice. Put a bathroom here, like a porta potty possibly, or a food bank thing. And they got water, fountain. There's no bathroom here. I think it would have been nicer to have a bathroom, not the food so much. Uh, but whatever. All right, so I got these two one gallon like growler things to replace the plastic uh, milk jugs um, yeah because it's summertime and I want to start carrying ice this is the year of ice for me I never um, it's about two dollars for seven pounds I can fill up one gallon I have the other gallon with milk in it one gallon of milk fill up one of these and then another container seven pounds of ice for two dollars I don't think I want to I don't want to do that every day I don't want to buy that ice every day but I just have to see how fast it melts in this hundred hundred degree weather <clears throat> it's a big old spider
All right, just taking a random walk from around the a library area. I feel c comfortable not even studying the map. I didn't even I didn't even uh, render the map on this phone, the Google Maps on this phone because now I just bring my hotspot in my trusty pocket. If I really need to get online, I'll just use that to render the map as necessary. <clears throat> Clark County was created by the legislator of Missouri, Ter Missouri Territory? Huh. <clears throat> you know, this is hard to read. I don't know, something about a salt factory from the river? There was enough salt around here to refine it. A salt kettle? Saline Bayou? They were manufacturing salt in Arkansas. That's interesting. I walked inside the courthouse and there was no security guards at the doors. It's nice to be in a relaxed town like this. There's not a high security uh, division. Uh, and it's just things are more relaxed. Quiet. <clears throat> Civil. Whoops. All right, so with these containers, <clears throat> I'm buying I'm buying more ice. I think seven pounds fills up two. Two gallons two is seven pounds roughly. So one will be for milk, two will be for ice. I'm getting into the habit of buying ice now, especially in this super hot weather. It's it's uh something else. Oh my teeth hurt from all that ice. But uh, I want to counteract the heat. I have to. I haven't done anything much besides, well, last year was the year of the wind uh, with the fans. And man, my teeth hurt. Too much ice. Oh. I cooled down quickly. I was sweating. I went out for a walk around the town. Oh, this hurts. It's like a, it's, it's a cold. It's really a cold issue. I'm cooling down. I, I'm I'm not really sweating as much. But I'm in pain. Is it worth? Is it worth the pain? Because I should be dripping with sweat, and I really slowed it down. But I got t painful teeth, especially when I talk. It's like it's they're not they're warmed up. It's just in pain now. Well, anyway, uh, uh, the uh, the ice helps, and I'm 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 thinking like when I was in jail, they were given ice almost every day. A big a big uh, container full of ice, and it's like there's this one guy who would uh, pour out the water every every few hours and i was thinking how stupid that was because i think the ice is more likely to melt faster if you pour the water out and he, he just want uh, he was in a different frame of mind like maybe getting to the ice is easier when there's no water he would pour out the water and i, I would never do that myself Right, I got terrible ice sensitivity. My teeth hurt so much from the ice. Uh, I gotta try different techniques on consuming it. I'm thinking don't consume directly out of the container. Put it in a bowl. So I'm gonna start putting in a bowl the ice, the food, because the pain lasts for minutes and minutes. 
just in the lower jaw, both sides, the cold really just causes an intense amount of pain in my jaw. <laughs> Is this a book return? Yeah. Right. Is it Amazon? Almost. Almost. Like Amazon. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the bicycle rack isn't normally uh, located uh, on the grass underneath the tree. Where is it? It is. Yeah. Oh, it is normally. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. <clears throat> All right, well, I just dropped my phone here and I cracked uh, the front facing camera. I don't think it's gonna come in as well as it used to now. It's got some crack marks on it. I just wanted to record this, this building a little bit. Big parking lot it's got that looked empty on Google Maps, sort of empty on the ground. All right, so just walking around, there's this nature area right next to the highway. So it's not the most uh, natural walk you take. It's the best I can reserve for people who are who are uh, really um, want to live and stay in the city and be able to have some kind of walk around trees. Looks like they got serious security here. A little, a little line. I guess uh, the best security is preventing, trying to prevent the vehicles a little bit. And that's just to protect a single house. They block off somewhat of a dead road to protect a single house. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, it looks like they're going to build it up into a real artistic style. This district is called the village, so they got uh, a lot of artesian houses. 
Yeah, there's a lot of artesian type houses around here. It's really neat. It's very artsy. They've put a lot of effort and money into the, uh, whatever, the standard. It's a standard that they're, that they're going by here. And that takes money with all the artistic, artsy things. Things you don't see in a regular house. This is kind of a standard, a swing porch. Chairs that they don't have to lock down. Just rows of houses like this with a nice little porch in front. Chairs. Nice pillars. Everything is fixed up and I got a fresh look to it, a fresh uh, um, construction look, Main maintenance, fresh maintenance for about f at least four blocks. It's just a, se it's a section, and I think it's advertised as, oh, what did they say again? Some kind of little district area. So somebody driving a detention center van is returning books at the library. I guess I could walk up to him. I don't know. I was just going to record from here if I had my better camera. Huh. If I had better zoom. So they moved from over here to over here now. And it looks like there's people in the vehicle. This fan detention center. I don't think the jail is that far. Yeah, they got maybe some, some workers for the library property. Maybe doing some landscaping. At this library, they got levels of that they announce like it's a fire hat, fire, a fire risk. We're at yellow, but the same guidelines are in place as they are for green. And then I jump up to demanding red or demanding a mask in the red category, but it's the same. Same exact guidelines for yellow and green. If you want to ensure some privacy around your car, depending on where you park, if there are carts around, you want to push them away from your car. That ensures some privacy, because I get the feeling that somebody could come over and just kind of peer into my car while they're pushing carts. It's, it's not a bad thing. But it's an, it's, it can be a little annoying. Alright, just to point out, I'm in West Plains, Missouri. I kind of forget sometimes. <clears throat> just have a peek at this old car sitting in the, the grass. This is not far from the university. And there's some kind of an automotive place nearby, so they also have some weird cars over there too on display that just don't make sense. All right, there's some some kind of a spring. Looks like a new sign. They just moved the post office over there. Are these bricks like purposely stacked in an order? It looks like it's a, uh, a neat color pattern 
on purpose. All right, so now the crack is really showing how bad it's gotten. I can't uh, do any front-facing recording anymore very good. All right, so I am back to my old uh, sweet, my old uh, problems with my hiatal hernia. I've got the hiatal hernia back, and and uh, it didn't take but uh, what a couple of weeks, because what's the date today? It is the 14th today, and uh, I got out of jail on the second. So less than a couple of weeks, and I am back to uh, the same problems that I was experiencing with my hiatal hernia, pretty much. Uh, I think it was delayed a little bit because of, of uh, being in a house for a few days. I was able to like stretch out on the floor, stand up completely, sit normally, not have my feet propped up. I think that delayed the hiatal hernia a little bit because it really seems to be a physical issue. So it's back and I got all the discomforts that I was suffering from before I went to jail. All the discomforts of sitting in the car, hanging out at libraries and sitting hunched over a computer, not being able to do much else for, uh, for movement. Um, I have to be sneaky about it. That's that's the interesting thing. It's 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 kind of fun to be sneaky, but not it's not happening as often as I'd like. That's the problem with sneakiness is you can't do it as often as you like. You got to be more cautious than sneaky. But either way, this this being propped up with my feet. I'm once again I'm back to complaining. It's so frustrating. But, I mean, jail was frustrating too, but jail did bring the relief because I had a bed to lay on and, and room to pace back and forth without question. And, yeah, just, just laying down, um, being able to just get into laying down positions was a big advantage that I can't, I can't enjoy. Sitting, okay, sitting, normal sitting and normal laying down are two things that uh, were given to me in jail so there was that relief and and then I guess maybe the um, the the reduced f uh, food it was a junk food diet but I wasn't eating as much as only pooping once a week and uh, the food was just a, a lower amount possibly a slightly better in some respects because it was cooked food like what's led to um, like this hiatal hernia that's really bugging me now uh, is, and it's so uncomfortable. In fact, when I push for the uh, the uh, what the the chiropractors push on to stretch the stomach, it feels extra tight, and yeah, it's just uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable sitting like this. All right, with my feet propped up, sitting here, leaning back. Um, it's just not comfortable sitting with my feet propped up. So, so then I, I have to put my feet out the door, but that doesn't help a whole lot. It's it's really just it's a shape of of everything. Uh, <clears throat> it was a relief to get out of jail, and it took some time to um, have my problems come back. And I question, why did my problems, why, why did it take so long for the problems to get to this point over the years of living in my car? I mean, I've, I was having, I was living in my car for nine years, uh, and, and early on, I mean, yeah, the problem came, but I was able to handle it. But now I'm, I'm just not so able to handle it as much. It, uh, it feels like my stomach is flipped. My stomach is folded. It's twisted. I've got uh, a flipped stomach. It's twisted out of shape, just from from the sitting. It's it's a mechanical thing. 
and and uh, it's it's so frustrating to deal with, because I I'm I'm so inclined to sit in this car for hours and hours, not doing anything but playing on on the Wi-Fi, on the tablet, in in a fixed position, and uh, and then and then the flipping, the folding slowly uh, moves, and and then before I know it, it's like a silent it's a silent folding, and then I before I know it the the problem is is just affecting my burping. I can't burp, um, um, and that's a gas issue, or it could be a swollen tissue issue. It's one of those two, and and, and it's a, it affects just the the regular energy pathway, and and I'm having difficulty with uh, the pathway uh, uh, on unblocking it. It's like once it gets blocked. Uh, it doesn't take long to block it, and it, it takes a long time after that to unblock it. I'd say hours at times. If I get caught sitting in too uh, fixed of a position, it doesn't take long to get the position, to get the the, the, flow, the folding or the swelling or the gas buildup to, to happen. And then, and then after that, it takes a long time to straighten that out. And and that was happening in my lower gut too in a lot of ways, but it, it seems like doing more neck bridges and Straightening out my upper back has been helping that but it's not what I'm doing right now uh, With exercises is not helping out now with my upper digestive system and it's it's really a frustrating a frustrating problem that uh, clearly was I got relief from with uh, <laughs> I was sitting in jail. Just, well, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. Alright, you have a good day at our yeah. park. Alright. Welcome to West Plains, Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Built by Southern Missouri <clears throat> home builders. They sure know how to build a good home. And there's the carpet. Where's the furniture?